I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You lot stay calm in there. You aren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary. Doesn't add much to the world. Education. Good day, gentlemen. Oh. Don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. Be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Wendt, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, sir, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. Come along. Then you better get on this horse. Not much of an animal, but they haven't got far to ride. Come along. Then you better get on this horse. It's not much of an animal, but they haven't got far to ride. Yeah, I waited on them moving you some weeks. I can wait a while longer. Ready? Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months at Sissica Penitentiary. Awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up and those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. Still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were. Came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you, forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course, but you will listen to my mistress first. She spent a good sum getting you folks out. You owe her an audience, at least. You've been away for a while, so we'll help you get set up in the world. Then if you want to accept our offer, you can. That's more than reasonable. The freedom out on the range can wait a few moments longer, can't it? Good.
soon as we're done, you can find your old posse. Or try and start a new one. You'll have money in your pocket to go to the store with. And there'll be chances to make more, if that's what you're after. And chances to raise hell, too, if you feel you're in the need of them. Okay. We haven't got far to go now. Just up here. There's the camp. Get your horse. <laughs> Been a while since you saw a hitching post, huh? This way. She's anxious to meet you. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica and the clerk, how do you do? What did you tell him? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. Oh, anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Oh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there, alongside a few other items you might need, a lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe.